Traders, let's uh, let's take a look and see where we're at with the competition. And, and I've, I've got to tell you, something is unbelievable, Mayor. Unbelievable. You know that you thought yesterday was full of drama, that we had a lot of, of different changes in the, uh, in the standings. Uh, I had no idea what was going to happen like this. So looking at this morning, the top 20 chart, we can immediately spot something that's changed. We don't have just one. Not two, can you make it but bigger? nine competitors. Nine. Yeah, let me see if I can make it bigger here. Nine competitors. When I make it bigger, it gets a little bit fuzzy. Yeah, what's, what there I, we can, go. I can see anything. Let's see. Yeah, that's much better. Just a bit can to you the see left. That? Okay, let me... Uh, on here. I really messed it up. Hold on. Okay, here we go. One. There we go. All right. And I'll bring it over here to the left just a little bit more. Yeah, that's perfect now. Okay. All right, looking this morning, the top 20 chart, we had nine competitors completely disqualify from the top 20. So almost half, Mayor, of the top 20 has changed just overnight. Just overnight. That's amazing. And congratulations. Congratulations to Bilal, uh, now in first place, Corey's group, and uh, about 10,000 behind is Jacob Anwar, our day number one leader. Anwar still hanging out in there. Congratulations to Boris moving up from 17 to number eight. Very consistent. And uh, fun facts about what's going on here. If you take a look at this here, these are the these are the competitors that had been eliminated in their last position. So, number one, number three, number five, number seven, number eight, nine, eleven, fourteen, and nineteen have all been eliminated from the competition. So, Bilal is trading from uh, uh, from Morocco. Jacob, who is uh, I think Jacob is number two. Is that right? Let me see. Jacob is number two. Jacob's from California. And fourth place, Richard, Mayor is trading from Jamaica. So traders, you can see we have people from Morocco, California, Jamaica, all over the world coming in to trade with us here. And uh, our fifth place position, yeah, fifth place position, Frank, who's also in the United States, relatively a new member of our community with really relatively no experience with the funded account program. And that's really impressive to come in here and to be a top five uh, trader. So in general, out of the top 20, we have a total of only two which never tried the funded account program before. So two new pieces, if you again? will. And uh, yeah, yep, I'll show the top 20 again. Let me go back here and uh, give you the, uh, the other chart here. So again, my apologies for this, but we'll dial that in. The uh, Bilal from Morocco, uh, Jacob. Uh, from uh, Jacob's trading from uh, Florida and Anwar is from California. Richard in fourth place is from Jamaica and um, fifth place Frank also from the US and, and really a brand new trader for us. So really interesting. Yesterday, yesterday total of 168 eliminations and uh, 138 of those were from the daily loss limit and 30 of those people still don't understand that you can't hold positions overnight. Okay, so if you look at the chart here, this will kind of give you all a little bit of a rundown. Number one, we had 269 people drop out uh, because of the daily loss limit, another 52 for the overnight positions. Then everybody started to get smart on day number two, only 242 out of the competition, 22 from the overnight positions, and then day number three, 158. So we're, that's coming down. And that's a bit normal because everybody's starting to settle in to the uh, to the program. So I hope everybody's having a lot of fun with the competition, and and I can tell you uh, we're having a lot of fun um, watching it go. Um, you know, and it's a tough competition. It's really tough, but the important thing is you've got to enjoy. It's all about the pressure. It's going to continue. It's going to get more as we get towards the end of the. Uh, the competition, the pressure is really going to get out there. There's going to be people taking more of more of a risk, I think, to win. And uh, you know, we've seen some world-class day traders getting eliminated on day one, 
And I know that some competitors have a lot of eyes watching their progress, and, and this makes it twice as hard to really perform. So, again, I just want everybody to understand we've been talking about it for days, Mayor. You know, it's the tortoise and the hare. And, again, it's my belief that the consistent trader is going to win this. The consistent trader is going to pay off here. We're going to see it in, our, in front of our own eyes how it works out. And I wanted to give you an idea. Again, I've been asked this every single day. Hey, Scott, what are the first and the second place traders doing to make that kind of money? How are they trading? How can I learn from the people that are in first, second, third place or some of the top traders? Well, here's your first place trader. This is what the first place trader did yesterday. You can see they started with their first trade 45 seconds into the day trading CY. And uh, they bought CY 3,000 shares and 8,000 shares and then closed the position about 13 minutes later with a nice profit. And then shorted the same symbol a couple of times afterwards, 10,000 shares and 5,000 shares and bought to cover the 15,000 shares in about two and a half hours. So they had, they let it go. It was a small loss, but most of the profit was generated by trading this stock here. Okay. So again, you see the share size is really stepping up. Like I've said before, just add a zero onto what you're used to, and away you'll go. Now here's what the second place trader has done. Second place, four symbols beyond the PVH trade, Roku, and Vive, buying 2,500 shares of Roku in four transactions, right? They're adding to their trade. You can see the very first four right here traders. First quantity, 1,000. Second quantity, 500, 500, and 500, okay? So they were adding to this. Now, if you look at this, they're adding actually to a loser. They started off at 91.53, added at 91.20, added at 91, added at 90.59. But the stock turned around, ended up getting rid of all 2,500 shares at 92.85. Very, very nice, um, nice move there. Okay. I think I would, overall uh, ended I would out personally ended a loss. Uh, relate more to this kind of trading. I mean, it looks uh, more sustainable to me. I think I think it's kind of, it, it's, it's kind of, kind of proving that, that that you know that if you take a lot of risk, I mean, you can get to the top, but you can't stay there. So if you guys, if you want to become right. consistent right. traders, I mean, not just this competition, you you can't take high risks forever. I mean, sometimes a trade here, a trade there, every once in a while, in a week maybe. But if you if you if you consist, consistently risking your account and taking high risks, that as you can see, that doesn't really work even in a ten day competition, ten trading days competition. That doesn't prove to you. I mean, that this change so dramatically today that really proves to you that this can't hold on, not for a competition and not in order to become a sustainable trader. Absolutely, I agree. We've been talking about that, and that's that consistency is going to win. Now, interesting enough, this is uh, this is Anwar. Uh, this last, this is a third place, third place position right now, Anwar, and he was our number one trader on day number one, day number two, number two, and day number three, the third place, and traded two symbols only, PVH and SOLY, shorted two thousand shares of SOLY, and then covered them in one minute. And that ended up with a loss and then shorted a smaller amount, 500 shares and lost again. And then shorted PVH three times, 500 shares, 500 and 1,000 and ended up the day with a small loss or, or with a loss pretty close to the daily max loss the second day in a row. So we've, uh, he was a leader of the competition the first day, made profits on SOLY and then, uh, and then has given some back, but still holding in there. And, um, you know, traders, again, I just... If you're, if you're still green, if you're just a little bit red, we've got a lot of time left, a lot of trading days left. Even though we're looking into the weekend here, we've got all of next week to trade. And, uh, you know, you can make those bigger trades. You can be consistent. And we're going to see people dropping out each and every day by not sticking to their rules, by over trading, and so on and so forth. So, again, most of the, your first, second, and third place traders only took between what six and and 16 trades so we're not seeing mayor we're not seeing those traders that are out there trading what do we have the first day 96 trades we had somebody 
So just incredible. And uh, I can't tell you enough. I can't stress you enough. If you just take the time, add that extra zero onto your share size, be disciplined about your approach, you're going to do very well in the tournament. You're going to do very well in the, uh, uh, in the challenge. Okay? You just keep right. going small. Uh, don't, don't get too crazy. Don't take too many risks. You know, just... Um, it, it, it's quite obvious to see that uh, some traders, if you took a look at, uh, the re at, at the list earlier, you could see that some traders, uh, and, and if, if you take a look at their previous position, you can take a look and see that some of the traders are holding in the top are holding in the top and everyone I see here in the first um, in the first 20 uh, which was previously let's say 20 uh, in 30 in place number 30 or place number 44 mind you this is the place of in between thousands of traders so being at uh, I don't know place uh, 44 and today being at place um, 18, I can see B, uh, Bilal, I believe. Uh, I mean, that, that's, that's amazing. That is really amazing. So, keeping to the, to, 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 to the list of the first, I don't know, 20, 30, 40, 50 people, it's great. All the best traders. Don't take too many risks. I think that's the key issue.